While the political situation in Niger Republic rumbles on without any clear-cut resolution in sight, the Nigerian government says the safety and well-being of the Nigerian citizens remains a priority. Addressing members of the diplomatic corps in the Nigerian capital, Abuja, the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Adamu Lamawa, said military intervention will be the last option if every mediation channel fails. ECOWAS has ordered nations bordering Niger to short their air and land borders, which did not go down well with a junta that promised to return military force with force. Our immediate concern remains for the people of Niger who deserve peace, security, and the right to choose their leaders through transparent and fair elections. We call upon the perpetrators of this coup to step back respect the rule of law and engage in peaceful dialogue to resolve whatever grievances they may have. As has been demonstrated through President Tinubu's entreaties since the time of the coup, the Nigerian government stands ready to support any mediation efforts aimed at restoring democracy and stability in the Nigerian Republic as well as other member states. However, the region has the responsibility to ensure that the life of President Bazoum, his family members, and other political leaders detained along are safe. The region holds that he remains the legitimate elected president and head of state of the Republic of Niger, recognized by ECOWAS, the African Union, and the international community, and therefore rejects any form of resignation that may purportedly would have come from him, perhaps under the rest. We therefore call on the international community to rally around the echoes and lovers of democracy in Niger and elsewhere in the world at large in order to sustain constitutionalism in the country.